It's a year today since Typhoon Haiyan smashed the Philippines, leaving 8,000 people dead or missing. But thousands of lives were also saved thanks to the resourcefulness of doctors. And this week in Christchurch, that knowledge has been shared at a special conference. Chloe Palmer has more. Theatre 7 at Christchurch Hospital is not usually used as a classroom. But exceptions can be made for an international conference of anaesthetists who are keen to learn new skills. It's a course that aims to teach anaesthetic doctors some of the knowledge and skills that they need to work in developing countries or in disaster situations. Morris says one of the ways of doing that is familiarising the doctors with this mobile anaesthetic kit. It's a far cry from the high-tech equipment found in most operating theatres, but it packs up into a small case and can be used in makeshift operating theatres. Here it is in action in the wake of last year's typhoon in the Philippines. They don't require some of the usual uh, things like electricity and high-pressure gases to, to be used. Hayden Pernt says there's a huge need for anaesthetist skills overseas. He says of the 260 million operations carried out globally each year, only about 3% are in developing countries. He hopes all of the 15 participants on this year's course will go on to do work outside their own countries. Whether it's small service missions or Red Cross missions or go away and do long-term development. So, yeah, I'm hoping we give them a vision and they give them some confidence and skills to do something. And armed with their new knowledge and tools, they may just be able to provide some first world expertise where it is so badly needed. Chloe Palmer, 3 News.